My MacBook Pro is, wait for this to load, there you go. It is early 2011. Yeah, there you go. All right. All you have to do is go up, top, go up top, type in Boot Camp Assistant. Just hit boot and it'll pop right up. You're going to hit continue. And if you don't already have it, you have to put a, I would put above an 8 gigabyte memory card, um, 8 gigabyte flash drive inside your flash drive slot. And then click this. When you hit continue, when you when you hit oh ooh, don't do that. When you hit continue, all you have to do is um, it'll download all the information that you're gonna need for the partition, like all the window drivers to be able to make your keyboard and everything work perfectly. And after it does all that, it'll detect if you have the ISO file in there or not. If you don't have one, and I've learned on the 2011 MacBook Pro, it will not read an ISO file strictly from the desktop. I don't care what anybody says. I've tried to do it. People told me my ISO file was broken. It wasn't right. That's bullshit. I know mine works because I burn mine to a disk, and it works perfectly. And it's 8.1, and you will see it when I transition over to Windows. After you download all the drivers, it will bring you right back to this page. This is going to be unchecked. You don't need to check it anymore. Don't click the box. This is going to be checked. Leave that checked. Hit continue, but make sure you have your ISO file on a bootable format on a flash drive already plugged in or on a CD-ROM that's been burned from a Windows PC. You have to burn it from a Windows PC. You cannot burn an ISO file from MacBook or from any Mac that I know of unless without using a program. But you can go to a PC that one of your buddies has. You can literally transfer over your ISO file, right-click it, and when you right-click it, it's going to say burn disk image. Click on that and burn it straight to it and it'll burn it as a bootable Windows operating system. I did that because it was straight from the disk. So I slid my disk into the disk slot and what it does is it'll bring you up to this page right here. It's going to give you two different sections. One's going to say Mac OS, one's going to say right over here it's going to say whatever you labeled your partition as. I labeled mine as Windows 8.1 just to be a little bit more professional. It's going to give you a little tiny dot here like somewhere in the middle over here you can adjust how much memory you want to give. This is I have 318 gigs. Not true. I have 200 gigs de designated to Windows and I have 116 gigs designated to OS X. So all you're going to do is, you're, I'm not hitting restore because I don't want to because I don't want to restore my partition. So all you have to do is you're going to hit partition. and You'll see a big old meter go all the way through. And it's going to take a while depending on how much. I found out if you do 200 gigs, it will take a long time for it to partition. It took mine about 30 minutes to do. And once it's done partitioning, it'll automatically reboot and open up into the Windows uh, operating screen. If you have the disk in, because you have to have the disk in, and, or you have to have the flash drive in with a, with a bootable ISO um, uh, disk image on your flash drive. Once it boots in, all you have to do is go through the regular Windows setup screen. Once you go through all that, and once you get done, it's gonna it's gonna do it all on its own. You know, in essence, you, once you do all that, it's gonna take you to the home screen. And when it takes you to the home screen, all you have to do is plug in your flash drive, go to my computer, open up your flash drive, and it'll say Boot Camp Installer. When it says Boot Camp Installer, all you have All right, and right here is me just showing you the boot up screen and all that and letting you see that it does work. It is functioning Windows 8. It all right, right here is me just showing you that it is a functioning working desktop, not just a loading screen, not just typing in anything. Showing you that it is working perfectly seamlessly. I think it actually works a lot better than the Mac OS. That's pretty uh bad. Huh. Yeah, guys, this is what I'm doing. I'm using uh, OBS to record right now right on my Mac right now. I am uh, running Windows 8.1. This is the second portion of the video that I was showing you. I showed you the uh, loading portion. What you do is if you want to go over to your Mac system, you hit restart. When you hit restart, it will take you to a... As soon as the Mac screen turns black, you hold the option for Mac and Alt for Windows. And it will take you to three separate looking hard drives. It will be like right here in the middle of the screen, but it will be a big silver page. Click on the Mac hard drive. If you want to run the Mac OS, click on the Windows hard drive on the bootcamp partition if you want to run Windows. Very simple, everything works really easily, everything works really... I think it runs Windows better than Windows does. I mean, it loads everything like, I mean, you just... It just... Loading it fast as I don't even know. I just... 
it's great. I love it. I do a lot of editing and stuff, and I needed Windows. I didn't feel like buying a $500 computer. I ended up just getting Windows software and doing what I had to do. Hey guys, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and I'll post more videos. I'll show you the uh, more steps in another video if you want. If you have questions, send me a message on YouTube, email me, or just comment in this video below, and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button.